everyone, welcome to another episode of RawRadiantHealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today's Monday and today I'm going to be answering a comment that was left on Facebook and, and I love this comment, it was asking me pretty much um, to ever look back and wish that I had gone on to the raw food diet at, an, at a younger age and the person asking me is in her early 20s and is a college student and it's funny because this question comes up a lot from young people and also older people as well. This is not, you know, like a lot of times people are always wondering, you know, is it too late to get onto the raw food diet, you know, or, you know, or are people too young to be switching on to whole foods and raw foods? And I have to first of all just say that my belief is, is that you're never too young and you're never too old to start eating healthy. Never, ever, okay? Like, I mean, at any age, it is good to get onto raw foods, onto whole foods, and start taking care of yourself. So, you know, and it's funny because I was talking to one of my coaching clients about this, um, even just last week, and I was telling him about, the, about my grandfather. And my grandfather is 102 years old, and he's in great, amazing health. You know, he lives on his own, he takes care of himself, everything. He, he's doing really good. And it's funny because he quit smoking in his mid-90s, <laughs> okay, like just a few years ago. <laughs> and, you know, and right there it's an example of it's like it's never too late to make changes and and to get the benefits from those changes as well you know and and at the time i was kind of like you know this is ridiculous he's in his mid-90s like why bother you know <laughs> and but for him it was like you know he had this cough that was kind of like ongoing and it was just bothering him so you know he just one day decided to quit smoking and you know, and you'd ask him, and he'd be like, oh, you know, I had nothing better to do but to quit smoking. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, and, and now, you know, he's living in his hundreds, and, and he's in good health. So, you know, right there, it, it's like, it's just always an example, at least for myself, something that's close to home, of like, being like, you know what, you can change at any time, you can make these changes, and and you always, always benefit from it. So it's never too late, and it's never too soon really you know like for young people out there like you know because I mean I coach people in all age groups from teenagers and people up until probably I think the oldest client I've had has been in their late 60s or even early 70s so so you know it's at any age people can start making changes and that doesn't necessarily mean they need to go like 100% raw overnight or even go on to a like you know, a full-on raw food diet, but just to make changes where they have more energy, they feel better, and they're reversing some of those chronic health conditions. And you can do that at any time just by changing some things in your diet, you know. It's, it's worth it. It's your body. It's the only thing you've got. The only, you know, that's what I like to remind myself every single day is this body of mine, it's mine. It's, it's, it's my own. And it's my responsibility. It's no one else's. No one else can make it any better or any worse. It's me, me, me. So I got to really, you know, do something with my body because I'm stuck with it for the rest of my life. So back to the question, though, about do I regret not getting into raw foods at a younger age? And I have to say, no, I have no regrets. You know, I, I'm one of those people that I don't really like to look back in the past and, and be like, oh, I wish I did this or I wish I did that. No, never. No, no regrets. I, I'm a true believer that people are on their path and everyone has a unique path. And, and we have to respect that, you know, that there's things that we all need to go through. And, you know, for some people, coming to a healthier lifestyle sometimes happens to them earlier on, or they're even born into it, you know, whereas other people, it happens in, you know, in the middle of their life, and other people, it might happen at the end of their life, and for some people, they never get into having a healthy lifestyle, they don't get into their diet or things like that, they're, they're doing other things, but everyone's on a path, and I've seen that one thing leads you to another thing, and to another thing, and to another thing, so a lot of times you have to let things unfold, and you have to kind of go through your journey because it's bringing you somewhere you know like I mean I look back at, at my youth and you know 
When I was a kid, my parents were very strict about eating healthy food. Very, very strict. We weren't allowed any junk food, no sugar, nothing. Not e we weren't even allowed white bread. <laughs> you know, it was like whole wheat and everything had to be whole grains and, and everything had to be really as healthy as it could be. And I left home at, a, at an early age, when I was 17, I went away to live in Chicago to go to university. And being on my own and, and a teenager, I mean, I went crazy, you know, and I was eating a lot of junk food for many, many years, and I was a smoker, and I used to drink, and, and you know, I partied, you know, I was, I was living a, my youthful, crazy lifestyle, and, and I smoked for 20 years. I was a chain smoker. I smoked about 30 cigarettes a day. So, you know, and I look back at that, and that's just something I needed to go through. And that, that was part of my own, you know, growth, my own learning process, my own experience of life and myself. And I think from having such an extremely sort of unhealthy lifestyle, that brought me from having a lot of health conditions, brought me to having an extremely clean and healthy lifestyle. And I think if I didn't go through that, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I think that goes for a lot of people, that sometimes people need to hit their rock bottom in order to lift themselves up. So we can't judge other people, and we can't expect other people to live the same way we live. We have to just do our own thing and go on our own path and respect ourselves. And I find when we respect other people's way of life and what they're doing, they have a tendency to respect ours, you know? So that's why, we, you know, never judge people, never look and frown at what other people are doing because they need to go what they're going through. You know, it's part of their own experience. So that's the answer to that question. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, so I'm wishing you guys a fabulous Monday, a wonderful beginning of the week, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.